Well, wages are important in uh, most economies uh, as a policy consideration. On the one hand, uh, governments are interested in in protecting vulnerable workers, and so the minimum wage is an obvious instrument to try and sort of set a some sort of floor uh, below which w wages can't fall. Uh, but on the other hand, it's one of the harshest trade-offs in economics, and that's why it's an interesting economic question, which is with high wages, uh, there's the threat of job losses. And so that's the broader context for, for, for the study that we did. The, the famous Cardin Kruger study uh, on uh, fast food uh, restaurants in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, there was a sense that it was a one-way street, so high wages would reduce employment. Cardin Kruger found actually uh, either no employment, disemployment effect, and in some cases a marginal increase in employment. That sort of began a new, a new sort of literature called the new minimum wage literature, um, in which there are uh, question marks around the impact of the minimum wage on employment, depending on the sector that you're targeting, the skill level of the worker, uh, depending on the, um, the size of the minimum wage increase. So in that sense, it becomes... Uh, uh, a more nuanced type of question in terms of the wage employment trade-off.